This is a practice to help you bring a little bit more movement into your body in a way that's not overstimulating. So we are working through all the major joints of the body and our joints can be one part of the body that we hold a lot of tension in. You know, often uh, in stress, joint pain can be one of the symptoms. So this is a practice to help you A, release stress and tension from the body and B, bring a little bit of movement in through your day. So we are going to start very simple, just crossing the arms in front of the body. So keep the arms fairly low and let them swing. Each time you cross, alternate the arm and then start to raise the arms a little higher you notice you get a little bit more activation through the shoulders and back. And obviously if you have any shoulder trouble going on, just go slowly and then come a little bit higher. So really just let the arms swing quite freely. As you do this, notice your breath and the connection of your feet to the ground as always. <laughs> okay, now arms move forward and back. And each second time, softly bend the elbows. So notice your breath. You might choose to synchronize your breath with the movement. So it could be inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, or just breathe in a way that feels free. Again, letting the arms be heavy and swing. And then we interlace the fingers, reach the arms up, stretch the sides of the body, maybe rise onto the toes. Release the hands as you lower the heels down, drop the elbows and then swing the arms. So let the arms really swing back. Inhale, interlace the fingers, we'll do it a little bit faster, come onto the toes, drop, swing to release. Swing the arms up, interlace, drop swing and then that drop swing we can do that as a two-part exhale so it'll look like this just to help release a little bit of stagnation out of the lungs so maybe five or six times you want to be moving quite vigorously drop swing and then just let the arms peter out and you already might start to feel a little bit more awareness and lightness through the upper body so then we're going to shake out the wrists, elbows, shaking the body can really help to release frenetic energy in the body, elbows again, maybe a little bit through the legs, one leg at a time, you can get really playful here, creative. <laughs> Have fun with it, you know, movement should be joyful. So have this softness and lightness and brightness to the face and then slowly with awareness and breath awareness. So just shrugging the shoulders, let the hands be heavy and then roll the shoulders up, back and down, up, back and down up, back and down, so three times and then forward, rolling forward, so up, forward and down. You can also bring the fingertips to the shoulders if you like. Good, and then step your feet a little wider. Relax the hands, but keep them forward, so kind of like you're holding a tray. And then just start to twist. So you might either look forward if you get a little bit dizzy or you can let your head move with the body or you can turn the head in the opposite direction and then whichever direction you're turning lift the opposite heel off the ground just to give you a little bit more range of movement. You could also let the arms swing and gently tap the body. Okay. 
and then come back to center. Wrists roll both directions. Elbows, like you're circling the elbows. And then we've already done the shoulders, so just shake the arms out again. And then staying with the feet wide, take the left hand up, lean to your right, and make sure the neck and shoulder is free. Really start to feel that sense of length and opening up the left side of the body. You could also bend the elbow if that's too strong in the shoulder. Really, this is about opening up the side body here. So just let your head be free. You can either look down, forward or up if you feel comfortable in your head and neck. Breathe into the side body. Make sure the knees aren't locked and then come up, change sides. Lean over to the other side. You might notice this side's either tighter or there's more freedom and space on this side. Again, just check in with your head. Make sure you're not holding here. Breathe into the sensations up the other side of the body. Choosing where to turn your head. And you might also make just some very gentle movement with your head there too. Okay, come back up, pause. Just give your mo yourself a moment to feel that. And then lower the ear to the shoulder. Feel the opposite side of the neck stretch. Tuck the chin forward and then drop the ear to the other shoulder. Laying the head back a little bit. So just semi-circles rotating the neck, staying connected to your breath. Hands heavy and shoulders soft. And just notice how there's a little bit of movement in the arm, slides up as you roll the head to each side. Again, if you've got any challenges in your neck, this doesn't have to be a big movement. It can just be some very, very small circles, semicircle rotations. Nice. Come back to standing with the feet together. At this point, you might like to hold on to the, the wall or a chair because we're going to be on one foot. So just lift up your foot, doesn't matter which one you start with, and slowly point and flex the ankle. And then circle the ankle. If you're balancing, you might choose a point to stare at, change direction. And then come up into the hip, big, slow circle. So you can either touch the foot down in between, or you can try to keep the foot elevated and just Focus on the hip joint, the ball and socket joint in the hip rotating. Change direction. So these big, slow, fluid movements that we're doing into the joints are really helping to encourage A, tension releasing out of the joints, but B, the joint fluid, synovial fluid, is getting a really nice opportunity to move around the joints and lubricate the joints. Come to the other side. Point and flex the toe first. And as we're moving in through the joints, you might hear some clicking or popping. This is a nice sign that there's some release happening. Roll the ankle. A little bit of trapped air can get stuck in the joints or gas. Opposite direction. And then big circle up into the hip. Remembering you can hold on to something or touch down with the foot in between. And then change. Three or four each direction. Come back to feet hip width. Bend the knees and bring the hands to the knees. And then just start to roll the knees together in the same direction. So feel that's that pressure shifting as you roll from the outer and inner ankle edge of the foot to the of one side and <laughs> the opposite on the other. Change direction. Nice. Again, go gently if you've got any trouble in your knees. Give yourself a moment just to feel. Maybe you're starting to notice a little bit more heat or energy in the body. I know for me my, my breath is definitely getting a little shorter. 
and we'll step the feet out wide again bring the hands to the hips just tune into the felt sense of your hips and then track your spine and feel the base of your spine like you've got a, a point coming down towards the ground start to rotate the hips like you're drawing a little circle with that point and then change direction and then so now creating a figure eight figure eight uh, shape with the hips so each angle the knee is going to bend and come into that and then change direction so you could do all of these as a series or you could just pick two or three if you've only got a couple of minutes and just play and then lastly shift your weight into one leg back to center and over into the other so rather than just rigidly moving from side to side can we get this little sense of wave like movement and fluidity happening in the hips great come back to center step the feet together Mm, give yourself a moment just to come back to center to feel into your physical center to feel your feet touching the ground and notice if you can spread the feet and feel all four corners of the feet the behind the big and the little toe and then the two points the outside of the heel come back to a breath awareness just following that breath in and out you might be able to sense the heart beating and a little bit of you know, energy moving through the system. Good. Enjoy. Go around your day now with just that little bit more energy in the body and a little less stress in the joints. <laughs> Thank you.